All right, so the mission today is we're going to spend 24 hours down the bottom of this cliff. Plain and simple. Got a rope, got a backpack full of gear, got some fishing rods there. Wrist is still bandaged up. It's pretty much good, but I'm just going to leave it on when I'm doing activities like this. 24 hours on the side of the cliff. Here we go. Right, finally all ready to fish. I won't go into too much details, but I'm using Ocean's Legacy rods. I've got this one, which is a PE8. I'm just setting that a bit more down. 100 pound Taz line on the reel. Oh yes, and one other thing, I always get asked this. But yeah, if, if I hook something I can't drag up, we have what is called a cliff gap right here. Details about it in the video descriptions. Probably one of the most common questions I get is, what if I hook something big, or what is that thing that you're using when I actually do use it? That's it there. Uh, it's on a rope, hook it on, send it down the line, grabs the fish for you. Let's start casting. I might take this thing off. Alright, I reckon I'm going to have a look and see if I can find a um, slide bait set up. And if I can, we're going to get ready and we're going to slide out a live herring if I can catch one. I found one, so this here goes on my main line, here. And this here gets sent down it, and this will go through hit that ring and this here helps to lock it from going back up and it will sit there so i cast out my sinker first okay so i've got everything rigged up there's my sinker i'm going to cast out it has a stopper up the line there i'm not going to pull it down off the reel and then i'm going to slide this down with a herring on the end of it right there if i can catch a herring so we'll cast the sinker out first I have not done this in ages. I haven't really done very well doing this to be honest, but I know it can work very well at times. All right, let's see. Wow, the amount of buff brim down there is incredible. It's ridiculous. So the idea is, Sink the sinker to the bottom and just slowly pull it in. Try to get it snagged or stuck on a bit of weed or rock edge or whatever it is. Alright, they can sit like that. Now we just got to catch a herring. Got one. The challenge is going to be landing one because, um, they just fall off so easy. All right, come on, come on, come on. It's a good size one, good condition. That's what we want. So we go in like that, up and over and straight into the drink. See you, mate. Go catch me something big. While I'm waiting for the rod behind me, which you can't see to go off and chuck some sunscreen on, I've been using this stuff for ages. I'm waiting for this container to run out. They send it to me. Made in Mandra, local WA company, and it just, um, I rate it, so I'm going to give them a bit of a plug. So I don't end up looking like Rudolph, this is. Oh, fish on. I must have had it hooked up on the bottom. All right, come on. Let's land a fish. It's a big swallow. All right, that is a big swallow. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. There we go. We finally caught something for dinner and there seems to be a couple out there. So I'm going to put this to the side and keep casting. It's called a swallow tail, by the way. Um, I do not want to lose him because that is my only dinner so far. Right there. Beautiful fish and very tasty. I just want something, I want some bigger fish. I'd love some bigger fish, but. All right, let's go again. Yes. 
That's better. So even bigger than a swallow or a big swallow. Well, it's not huge. It might just be another swallow, just a good size, I think. Yep, another swallow. Just want to land it. There's nothing else I can do but wind it up and hope for the best. There we go. Got another one. Pull this in now. We will find out if I still have a herring on the end or I feel like something's had a go at it from what I saw just watching the line and the rod. And how's my herring? Something had to go at it for sure. But nothing had a decent set of chompers. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I want to send down a, um, a camera and we might send down a bit of bait like that there with it. Let's try that. Whew, probably above casting won't. Probably take a while to sink that setup. And hopefully I'll pull a GoPro up at the end of it that has filmed for however long. I'll leave it down there for. I'll leave it down for a while, we'll see what happens. Alright, I've just made a bait rig. I'm going to throw a bit of herring out. I am wondering how I'm going to go sleeping down here without the portal ledge. I have just brought my hammock and it's just kind of, it looks tricky. I'm sure I'll make something happen, but it doesn't look amazing. Plenty of bites, I'm just not convinced they're big fish. You know a big fish, it grabs it and it goes. Don't have to do much. It's one way to hook a rock. Far out. Get a good hit and I, oh yep, yep. I do have a fish on. Yes. I think my sinky got snagged or something. I don't know what happened there. I struck into it and then I just felt dead weight. Now I seem to have a fish. What do we got? Big breaks there, hey. How have I got it hooked? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a thumper. Yes, I got a good fish. Big fat breaksy. Just scoffed it, eh? You can tell it's deep. Swim bladder is poking out. That. That'd be in the 40s. My PB is like 47 or something. I don't think it's that big, but it's definitely a 40 something. And he's engulfed it right down the hatch. Got something on, it's not that big. Could be another break see. Is it? It is too. Oh this spot's producing alright. That's a good size break see. Not as big as the last. I'm doing good. 
I'm getting fish. I'm finally catching a few fish. Feels like a snapper. This is good fish, surely. What do we got? Snapper, yes. Yes, I mean, I winch this one up. I don't think it's too big. Yeah! Yes! That is my first good fish in so long there we go i finally got a good fish good sized pink snapper he's been far too long between good fish not on this trip just like in general for me i haven't caught a good fish for ages so i'm stoked on that it's not massive but it's a good fish i was almost ready to like set the hammock up and lay back and relax because it's been a bit quiet but I might have a few more casts now so All right, let's see if we can get one more. I hooked up that fish straight down the bottom here. And yeah, I kind of called it for a snapper pretty early on. Just then. Just getting heaps of bites, doesn't feel that big. Could just be a wrasse. Oh, no, no, that's not a rest. Little snapper, maybe. Oh, sea sweep. That's all right. Apparently, these guys are actually good eating. Probably not going to release well from here, so I might as well keep it. All right, so I've done pretty well on the fishing so far. I've caught plenty of fish for dinner decent amount to take home i'll try and get a few more later on but for now i am more than happy i just want to try get my um my hammock set up here so i'll probably push all these things that way got the camera there might try to push the camera back a bit and then i will try get it strung up here somewhere where's the zip the zip is on that side so i want This here for now. So, this is going to be an experience. The biggest problem with this spot is it's not steep enough here. It comes down at slightly less than vertical and then it just sort of scoops out the bottom here, which makes it really hard to um, set up a portal ledge or anything really good from it. And I will be sleeping with a harness on, for those wondering. Heck no, would I trust this thing? Imagine. I don't think it's meant to be that comfortable sleeping on the side of a cliff. I mean, you can't get it reasonable. You can probably get a hell of a lot better than this. <laughs> oh, that good. I must be crazy. Got to make these fishing trips interesting somehow though, don't I? Cool, it'll be an interesting night. All right, I've got my bed sorted here. We got some snapper and some other fish in the bag. I'm gonna fill up the snapper now. I'll probably just leave the other fish whole and fill up them at an easier spot because everything is tricky down here. So anything that's not too big, I'll haul out and I'll fill it back at home or down the beach or somewhere, somewhere easier than here. All right, let's see. 
we can not cut the Yeti bag but get a skin off. There we go. Two, three pieces. I really need to wash my hand if I can find some way. Got the fish in here. I have um, put them in panko breadcrumbs. There's my wrap. I managed to forget the salad. I bought some salad and I had it in a little cooler bag in the car and I'd say it's still in the car. Anyway, fish, spicy mayonnaise stuff and uh, a wrap. Mm. It's so good the first one I have one more after this I might have the other one just fry it up have a bit of sauce Oh well, I may have forgotten the salad, but I did remember my toothbrush at least, so I'm gonna give them a scrub. My pearly whites. Mm -mm. Straight down the crack. Comfy ears, mate. It's it's not too bad. It's just <sighs> like normally you lay sideways in a diagonal, so in a hammock, and that is not going to happen in this situation. So you just take what you got.
I think I can report back to us about the night. Mozzies have been pretty bad. And they're just sneaking through this little hole here. It's really annoying. I just, I've had to adjust a bit a few times throughout the night to try to be comfy. Bit of this, bit of that. I did sleep. Mozzies. I might doze a tiny bit more. It's been quite bright. That moon's been real bright all night. Got a fish? Tin tail long? What have we got? It's not very big. Could be a good fish though. Doesn't have to be big, let's see. What is that? Have a swallow. Yeah, these swallows just love this plastic, eh? Hey? There we go, swallow tower as we call them. They're, they're reasonably good size ones too. Which is nice. There we go, we got a nice swallowtail. Shook the hook as I landed it, I had to put my foot on it. I'm gonna dispatch it in the cooler bag. That makes number five swallowtail. There we go. Same again, I would say. I felt it just start to take it. And again, how do you shake off? That hook was so well in. Is he gonna swim? That is ridiculous. He's going down. They're just spiky, so I don't wanna jump on them and get a big spike in me, but I need to flick him in there next time. All right, I'm done. It is now 9.30. I've been fishing for two hours this morning. I've been down here for probably just on 23 and a half hours, 24 hours. Not catching anything at the moment, so I'm gonna call it. I got a bunch of fish from yesterday that I need to fill it and clean. And I need to clean myself. So I'm gonna pack everything down and haul out of here. Okay, all packed up, ready to go. All my gear is here. Got a bit of extra rope that's just going to sit above it. I've sort of tried to make it like that. Hopefully this doesn't slide down as I go up. Otherwise it'll just tension my rope, but that's all good. Let's climb out of here. All right, I'm on that rope, pulling up this rope. Now it's going to start getting spicy. We put this thing on. And we even can go, could just go direct even, whatever. All right, mission complete. I um, caught a couple of good fish. What we get? Two brake sea cod, four or maybe five swallowtail, dropped a whole bunch more, and one good sized snapper. No trophy fish, but some good fish nonetheless. So I'm stoked on that. It's been a long time since I've caught anything good, so we'll consider that a good starter, I reckon, for getting back on track. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, hope you enjoyed it leave us a like leave us a comment if you want and um if you're not subscribed and you enjoy my videos don't forget to give us a subscribe it doesn't cost a cent just means that you see when i post videos that's all it does anyway thanks for that catches